Hey, how's it going? Todd here with No Film School, and Adobe has recently released some tools that makes it a whole lot easier to do all of this that you're seeing going on down here. You know, subtitles. But anyone who's done subtitles before knows that it's usually a lengthy manual process. However, now Premiere can do it for you. It can do everything you're seeing here uh, with just a few clicks of a button. Pretty great. Anyways, let's talk about it. So we're talking about speech to text. Premiere has it now and it does a really good job. You can use it to create transcripts of your footage and you can then use those transcripts to create subtitles with just a couple clicks. And it can even transcribe different languages, which is a feature I've needed plenty of times. So to start, we're going to use the captions workspace and this will open up a couple of new tabs, but right here you'll see this transcribe sequence button. So click that button and once you click, you'll be able to decide which audio you'd like the software to listen to or select an overall mix down. There you can also select the language you'd like to use. After a short time, you'll see an automatically generated transcript of your entire sequence. Now, as you listen through your sequence, any errors you find in the transcript can be easily fixed just by double clicking and typing in the corrected text. Once you have your transcript where you like it, you can hit this create captions button right here. Now, these are some settings you may want to fine tune for your specific project. You can save various styles and reuse them, or you can change the settings around how many words can appear on screen and for how long. So if you have a fast or slow talker, you may want to have a look at those settings. Once you hit create, your sequence will be populated with a subtitle track, and each one of your transcripted lines will appear. Now, when you look at it, if you don't like the text style, you can click on any one of these titles and create a new text style using the Essential Graphics panel. And once you get a style that you like the look of, you can just click this little button and push that style to all the other titles on the track. And you can save it as a style preset so you can just use it later. Hey, how's it going? Todd here with No Film School. And in this video, I'm going to And so just like that, something that we would have needed to go to a third party service or spend hours and hours doing manually, is now completely doable in just a couple of clicks. Wow. 